वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियोज प्लीज टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल फॉर क्लास फोर आई एम ओ लेवल टू देर आर टू सेक्शन द फर्स्ट सेक्शन इज मैथमेटिक्स नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर थर्टी एंड मार्क्स आर लॉट इट इज वन एंड सेकेंड और लास्ट सेक्शन इज अचीवर सेक्शन नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर फाइव एंड ईच क्वेश्चन कैरी टू मार्क्स टोटल टाइम गिवन इज सिक्सटी मिनट्स क्वेश्चन वन अ स्मॉल स्केल इंडस्ट्री मेड सेवन फिफ्टी कैंडल्स इन वीक The candles were packed in set of twelve each. How many packets were made, and how many candles were left behind, respectively? Number of candles made in one week is equal to seven fifty, and number of candles in one pack is equal to twelve. Therefore, number of packets made is equal to seven fifty candles divided by twelve. After division, we get. The number of packets that were made are sixty-two, and the remainder as six. Six was the number of candles that were left behind. Hence, option A, sixty-two, and six is the answer. Question two: Which of the following has the least value? Let's start with option A. Ten tens more than twenty hundreds, so ten tens is hundred, and twenty hundreds is. Twenty into hundred, that is two thousand. Two thousand plus hundred, we get twenty-one hundred. Option B, ten ones more than two hundred tens. Ten ones is equal to ten into one, and two hundred tens is equal to two hundred into ten, which is equal to ten plus two thousand. That equals to two thousand ten. Option C, ten ones more than twenty tens. Ten ones is equal to ten into one more than twenty tens. So twenty tens is twenty into ten, which is equal to two hundred, and ten plus two hundred equals to two hundred and ten. Option D: ten hundreds more than two thousands. Ten into hundred is one thousand more than two thousand. So two thousand is two into thousand. That is two thousand. Hence, thousand plus two thousand is equal to three thousand. Now you can determine yourself which one has the least or the smallest value. It's option C, that is two hundred and ten. Question three: Select the correct sign to make the expression true. First, let me simplify the first part of the equation. That is three by four plus one by six minus three by seven. So seven and four in the denominator. The LCM would be twenty-eight. So let's simplify that. So we have got twenty-one by twenty-eight minus twelve by twenty-eight plus one by six. So we can minus subtract twenty-one minus twelve by twenty-eight. That is nine by twenty-eight plus one by six remains as it is. Now let's move on to see the uh, one by three plus seventeen by twenty-eight. And when we find the LCM, it's eighty-four. And when we total up, we get seventy-nine by eighty-four. Nine by twenty-eight plus one by six, the LCM comes to eighty-four. Therefore, nine into three by eighty-four plus fourteen into one by eighty-four, the total comes up to forty-one by eighty-four, which is smaller than seventy-nine by eighty-four. Hence, option B, smaller than sign, is the answer. Question four: Divya baked two fifty-five cookies. She packed two fifth of them into boxes of six equally and the rest into boxes of three equally how many boxes of cookies did she pack all together number of cookies baked by divya is equal to 255 and two fifth of them is packed out of the total 255 cookies she has packed two fifth of them so let's first find out what is two fifth of 255 So this portion has one hundred and two cookies. Now let's find out the portion of the other part. That is two fifty five minus hundred and two equals one hundred and fifty three. So the rest of the part has one hundred and fifty three cookies. One hundred and two cookies were packed in boxes of six. So now let's divide one hundred and two by six. Out of two fifty five total cookies, hundred and two cookies were packed in seventeen boxes. And the rest, one fifty three cookies were packed in one fifty three divided by three. That is fifty one boxes. Hence, fifty one box plus seventeen box, sixty eight boxes all together. The we are packed. Option B. Question five. Nine hundred fifty bags of cement are needed to build a house. How many bags of cement are needed to build forty three such houses? Number of cement bags required to build one house is equal to nine fifty. 
Therefore, number of bags of cement required to build 43 such houses is equal to 950 bags into 43 houses, which comes up to option B, 40,850 bags. Question 6. If star plus star plus star is equal to 1275 and 1000 minus star is equal to circle, then circle minus star is equal to what? Here value of 1 star plus 1 star plus 1 star that is 3 star is equal to 1275. So value of 1 star is equal to 1275 divided by 3 that is equal to 425. Now the second equation 1000 minus star is equal to circle. So 1000 minus the value of star that is 425 is equal to 575 is the value of circle. Replacing the values of circle and star in the equation circle minus star we get 575 minus 425 which equals option c 150. Question 7 which of the following is incorrect? Option a every number is a multiple of itself. A multiple is a result obtained by multiplying a number by an integer. It should not be a fraction. For example, to find the multiples of 6, we multiply 6 by 1, then 6 by 2, 6 by 3, and so on. Option A, every number is a multiple of itself. This statement is correct. Option C, 20 is a multiple of 1. This statement is correct as every number is a multiple of 1 and itself as any number for example, x can be expressed as 1 into x. For example, 3 is equal to 1 into 3 and 5 is equal to 1 into 5. Option D, a num multiple of a number can be greater than the number itself. This statement is correct as the multiple of a number is greater than or equal to the number itself except for 0. Option B, every number is not a multiple of 1. This is incorrect statement as every number is a multiple of 1. Hence, option B is the answer. Question 8, the given bar graph shows the number of people who visited the zoo over a period of 7 days. On which two days did a total of 900 people visit to the zoo? So for this question, we have to check the option. For option A, it's Tuesday and Wednesday. There were on Tuesday 800 and Wednesday 700. So 800 plus 700 totals up to 1500. Option B, we have Wednesday and Friday. That is 700 plus 700. That totals up to 1400. Option C, Thursday, we have 400 people and Friday 700. That totals up to 700 plus 400. That is 1100. Option D, Monday, 500 people plus Thursday. 400 people total up to 900 that is the number of people that visited the zoo hence option D is the answer. Question 9. Six years ago Namita was four times as old as Maya. If Maya is 18 years old now then find their total age after 10 years. Maya is currently 18 years old and therefore six years back she was 18 minus 6 that is 12 years old. As given in the question that Namita was 4 times as old as Maya. So as Maya's age was 12 years 6 years back. So Namita's age was 4 into 12 that is 48 years. And hence Namita's present age is 48 plus 6 that is 58, 54 years old. After 10 years. Maya's age would be 28 years, Namita's age would be 64 years and therefore the total will come up to option A, 92 years. Question 10. There were 2 at 6 0 boys and 1 at 4 0 girls in a school hall. 450 boys and 380 girls more than boys left the school hall. How many students were remained in the school hall? Total number of boys are 2 at 6 0 and total number of girls are 1 at 4 0. And the number of boys who left the school hall are 450 and number of girls who left the school hall are 450 plus 380 that is 830. Number of students who left the hall is equal to 450 boys plus 830 girls that equals 1280 and number of students who remained in the school hall is 4700 minus 1280 that is 3420. Option C 3420 students remained in the school hall. Question 11 The difference between 21 hundreds, 5 tens, 8 ones, and the sum of 980 and 1405 is dash. 21 hundreds, 
5 tens and 8 one says 2158. Sum of 980 and 1045 equals 2385. Required difference is 2385 minus 2158 and that is 227. That is 200, 2 tens and 7 ones. Option C. Question 12. A typist can type 90 words in 180 seconds. Find the number of words she can type in 300 seconds if she maintains a constant speed. In 180 seconds, a typist can type 90 words. Therefore, in 1 second, she would type 90 by 180 words. And in 300 seconds, she will type 90 by 180 into 300. So, we get 0, 0 is cut and then... 2 into 150 is 300, hence in 300 seconds she will type option A 150 words. Question 13. A shopping mall closes at 10.30 pm. Its operating hours is 10 hours and 45 minutes. What time does the shopping mall open? The shopping mall closes at 10.30 pm which can be written as 22 hours 30 minutes and the operating hours mentioned are 10 hours and 45 minutes so we will subtract 22 hours 30 minutes from 10 hours 45 minutes but as you can see under the minutes tab 30 is smaller than 45 so we will write minus 15 minutes and 22 hours minus 10 hours we get 12 hours and now as 15 is in minus we will subtract 15 minutes from 12 hours which will come to 11 hours 45 minutes hence option a 11 45 am is the time the mall opens question 14 use the smallest whole number which is greater than 99 find the greatest possible whole number which is less than q times q the number the whole number that is greater than 99 is 100 and q times q that is 100 times 100 is 10,000 and the whole number that is less than q times q that is less than 10,000 is option d 9,999. Question 15. 159 students went to the zoo. 84 of them were boys and the rest were girls. If the girls were grouped into groups of 5 then how many groups of girls were there? Total number of students who went to the zoo are 159 and 84 of them were boys. So we have to find the number of girls now for 8. Subtract 84 from 159 we get 75 girls. And these 75 girls were grouped into 5 groups. And so total number of group groups formed is equal to 75 divided by 5. That is total 15 groups of girls were there. Option A. Question 16. Find the value of P minus Q plus R into 8. Let me first find out P. So P into 4, the result is 6. So what multiply by 4 is 6? So it could either be 9 4s are 36 or 4 4s are 16. So let's try with 4. So if P is 4, then 4 4s are 16, 1 carry, 4 5s are 20, 21 2 carry, and 4 1s are 4 5 6. So 6 1 6, and we have got our R. So R is equal to 6 and P is equal to 4. Now we have to find the value of Q and Q times 4 is 6. So it can be either 4 4s are 16 or 4 9s are 36. So if Q is 9 then 9 4s are 36, 9 5s are 45 plus 3 8 and 9 1s are 9 plus 4 is 13. So Q is 9, P is 4 and R is 6 and as you can see in the addition one that r plus 8 is at 8 that means r is 6 and 8 6 plus 8 is 14 so s is 4 now that we have got the value of p equal r and s so we can replace the value in the equation and we get 4 minus 9 plus 6 into 4 and now applying board mass first we will multiply 6 into 4 we get 24 then add 4 to 24 we get 28 and lastly subtract 9 from 28 we get 19. Hence option D 19 is the answer. Question 17. Shubhra bought 12 meter of cloth to make 3 pairs of pants and 2 shirts. If she used 2.7 meter of cloth to make each pair of pants and 1.9 meter to make each shirt then how much cloth was left? Total length of cloth bought by Shubhra is 12 meter and she made 3 pairs of pants and 2 shirts and 
For making one pant, she used 2.7 meters. Therefore, for making three pairs of pants, she used 2.7 into 3, that is 8.1 meters. Now for the shirt, one shirt is equal to 1.9 meters. And therefore, for making two shirts, she used 1.9 into 2, that is 3.8 meters. Therefore, cloth used is 8.1 meters plus 3.8 meters, that is equal to 11.9 meters. Cloth left is total length of cloth minus cloth used that is 12 meters minus 11.9 meters we get 0 0.1 meters and now we have to convert meter to centimeter so 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters therefore 0.1 meters would be 100 into 0 0.1 we have 10 centimeters. Question 18 find the perimeter of the figure not drawn to scale given below. To find the perimeter we need to add the sum that is 5 plus 6 is 11 plus 4 is 15 plus 4 is 19 plus 5 is 24 and 24 plus 8 is 32, 32 plus 3 is 35 and 35 plus 2 is 37, 37 plus 12 is 49 centimeter option C. Question 19. Vinay gained 2 kg 775 gram. What was his weight earlier if he weighs 78 kg 215 gram now? Presently, Vinay's weight is 58 kg 215 grams and he has gained 2 kg 775 grams. That means his weight earlier was present weight minus the weight gained. Hence, Vinay's earlier weight was option A 55 kg 440 grams. Question 20. There were 1800 girls and 960 boys in a hall. An hour later, 7 tenth of the girls left the hall. How many children were in the hall after an hour? Number of girls are 1800 and number of boys are 960. An hour later, 7 tenth of the girls left the hall. That means the three tenth of the girls remained in the hall. So three by tenth of eighteen hundred is five forty. So five forty girls were there in the hall, and adding nine sixty boys, we get option B fifteen hundred. Question twenty one. Mister V took twenty three days of leave from office. If his last working day was sixteenth of July, then on what date did he have to join office after leave? Last working day of Mister V uh, V is. 16th of July that means his leave starts from 17th of July so 17 plus 23 is equal to 40 and July has 31 days so we get 40 minus 31 that is 9th of August he will resume his office. Question 22 how many of the following figures have vertical line of symmetry? Vertical line of symmetry means the axis of the shape which divides the shape into two identical halves vertically is called vertical line of symmetry. It is the mirror image of the other half of the shape can be seen in a vertical standing position. So the first figure when cut into half will be same in both the side and the second no, third no, fourth one would be same on both the side and fifth figure no. Hence, there are two figures that would have vertical line of symmetry. Question 23. Select the correct option for shaded fraction. Here in option A, there are 10 equal parts out of which 5 are shaded and the rest option that is B, C and D, the fraction shaded part is incorrect. Hence, option A 5 by 10 is correct option. Question 24. Mr. Sharma has rupees 52,596. He buys a refrigerator worth rupees 18,946 and a television worth rupees 30,420. How much amount of money is left with him? First, let's add up the cost of refrigerator and television. We get rupees 49,366. Amount of money left with Mr. Sharma is rupees 52,596 minus money spent that is 49,366 that is option C 3,230. Question 25 which of the following options has the greatest sum? So option A is 1,270, option B is rupees 350, option C is rupees 1,300 and option D is rupees 700. Out of the option all the four options rupees 1300 that is option c is the greatest sum 
hence option C is the answer. Question 26. The distance from city A to city B is 56 km 750 meter. From city B to city C is 33 km 225 meters. And from city C to city D is 50 km 175 meters. Find the distance from city A to city D if one has to go through cities B and C. For going to city A to D, one has to pass through B and C. Hence, we will cover all the distance between A to D and we get 140 km, 150 meters, option D. Question 27. Ankush had rupees 500. He spent one fourth of the money. How much money? How much amount of money is left with him? Total money with Ankush is rupees 500 and he has spent one fourth of rupees 500 and left with three fourth of 500. That is rupees 375. Option B. Question 28. Roman numeral C M is same as dash. Roman letter C stands for 100 and M stands for 1000. Value of CM is 900, hence option B 1000 minus 100 is same as CM. Question 29. The perimeter of the given figure is 49 cm. Find the length of BC. Let's first calculate the length that has given. 4 plus 6 is 10, 10 plus 5 15, plus 4 19 plus 4 23 plus 9 32 and 32 plus 12 is 44 so length of bc is 49 centimeter that is the perimeter minus 44 centimeter that is 5 centimeter option a question 30 select the incorrect statement option b a line segment has two end points this statement is correct Option C, a ray has one end point. This statement is also correct. Statement D, two lines can intersect at one point only. This statement is also correct. Option A, a line can be extended on one side. This statement is incorrect as it has no end point, so it can be extended on both the sides. Hence, option A is the answer. Question 31. The product of number x and number y is 2, 8, 8, 0. The difference of both numbers x and y is 32. If both numbers are multiples of 8, then find the sum of numbers x and y. As you can see from the data given that both the numbers are multiple of 8. That means x is equal to 8 into dash and y is equal to 8 into dash. Let's first find the factors of 2, 8, 8, 0. So the first number would be 8 into 9 that is 72 and the second number would be 8 into 5 that is 40. Hence x is 72 and y is 40 and the difference of 72 and 40 comes to 32. And now finding x plus y we get 72 plus 40 that is option B 112. Question 32. Which of the following figures has the greatest perimeter if one line is equal to one unit? For this question, look at the rectangular shape that is uneven in yellow color that is given. So the one with this with the most number of boundaries will have the greatest perimeter. When we start counting, we can see that figure 1 has 6 extra lines. Hence, the perimeter of figure 1 would have the greatest perimeter. Option A. Question 33. The given bar graph shows the number of children in all the families staying in Beverly Apartments. The number of families which have dash children is one third of the number of families which have one child. You can see the starting point is 0 and then interval as 6 that means the midpoint is at 3. So the number of children having one child is 24 plus 3 that is 27. Now we need to find number of families that has 9. So you can see 9 is at the bar 3. So the number of families which have 3 children is 1 by 3rd of the number of families which have 1 child. Hence option B3 is the answer. Question 34. Which of the following statements is incorrect? Option B. The sum of 5th multiple of 9 and 7th multiple of 7 is 49. 5th multiple of 9 is 45. 7th multiple of 7 is 49. And their sum is 94. That is not equal to 49. Hence, option B is incorrect. Question 35. 7, 6, 3, 9, 2 is 4. 8, 8, 2 more than star. What is the difference between star and the product of 68 and 6? 
First of all, let us find the value of star and we get 71,510. Mm -hmm. Product of 68 and 6 is 408 and the difference is option C, 71,102.